In this tutorial, we're going to explore the VCA, or Voltage Controlled Amplifier, using Cherry Audio's Voltage Modular Nucleus. To begin, we'll open up Voltage Modular Nucleus and click that New button in the upper left. This clears our rack. Let's get the basics out of the way. We'll scroll to the top of the library to reveal our amplifier. Clicking the Add button installs it in our rack. We'll scoot it to the right to make room for other modules. We'll run a cable from the amplifier's positive output up to the main out's 1LM jack. This connects the amplifier to the audio system. Now we need something to amplify, so back in the library we'll find an oscillator module. We'll run a cable from the oscillator's triangle output to the amplifier's input. The amplifier's gain knob is turned down, so we can't hear anything. If we give it a nudge, we can hear the signal. It's not too exciting, but it's okay for a reference. At this point, our module is acting merely as a plain old amplifier. Things only get interesting when voltage control is applied to that task using some sort of modulation source to control our gain. We'll get an envelope generator from the library and place it to the left of the amplifier. Our envelope generator requires an input. So we'll go to the CV Sources panel up in the upper left and find the gate out. We'll run a cable from that gate output down to the envelope generator's gate in. Envelope generators are by far the most common modulation source for amplitude. Next, we'll run a cable from the envelope generator's positive output to the amplifier's CV amount input, giving us control over the dynamic shape of the sound. Playing a note from a connected keyboard will now trigger the envelope, which in turn tells the amplifier to increase the gain. The envelope's four sliders can be used to shape the gain over time. Let's connect the CV source's pitch jack to our oscillator's pitch CV input to gain control over the notes it generates. We'll make sure our envelope generator's attack slider is fully down and we'll set its sustain slider fully up. We'll set our release to about halfway. Let's go to the library and find a mini LFO module, installing it to the left of our oscillator. The mini LFO provides two basic low frequency oscillators that can be used for periodic modulation. In our case, we're going to use it to create vibrato. We'll run a cable from the mini LFO's topmost triangle wave output to the oscillator's freak mod input, and then we'll turn the freak mod up to around 25%. Playing a note reveals that vibrato has indeed been added to our sound. At this point, the amount of vibrato is manually controlled by the Freak Mod knob. However, it can also be useful to fade it in after notes start. For that, we'll need to add another amplifier module. We'll place the new VCA in between the mini LFO and the oscillator modules. We'll disconnect the mini LFO's triangle output from the oscillator's freak mod input. Instead, we'll patch the LFO's triangle out to the new amplifier's input, and that amplifier's positive output will go to the oscillator's freak mod jack. If your Freak Mod is still at 25%, the amplifier's gain will control the amount of vibrato. Once again, we'll want to control the amplifier's gain setting using a modulation source. And once again, an envelope generator is the right tool for that job. We'll go to the library, and we'll grab a second envelope generator, placing it between the mini LFO and the recently added amplifier. We'll patch the CV source's gate to the new envelope's gate in. We'll patch the second envelope's positive output to the new amplifier's CV input. We'll set the amplifier's CV amount knob to full. The amplifier's gain should be set to nil. Now we'll set the new envelope's attack to around 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds.
Now when we play and hold a note, the vibrato will fade in after two seconds. We've just patched two of the most common uses for a voltage-controlled amplifier. In our next installment, we'll look at some more advanced applications. Until then, go ahead and experiment on your own.